Hold on to your hats, folks, because according to this visionary investor herself, Tesla is on the verge of a jaw-dropping milestone. Just in time for the holiday season, we're talking about Tesla's stock potentially surging past the incredible dollar 400 mark by Christmas. But how is this possible? What's the strategy behind it? And what does Kathy Wood see in Tesla that has her making such bold predictions? It is interesting. I think it's a data issue. Autonomous taxi platforms uh, are the biggest AI project in the world. They and can't. therefore, we think Tesla is the but biggest you have AI. Well, whenever it goes up, it was up uh, about 150% relative to our other names, many of which had not moved. So we will all, always uh, recycle that way, take profits. And uh, I would also say, listening to Elon on the last conference call, he's very concerned about the economy. I don't even know if we'll be talking about GM so and Ford in five years. What is interesting about the news that both of them are pulling back for profitability reasons, they can't be profitable in this space unless they scale. That's how this That's works. Catch. We'll unravel the mystery, break down the facts, and get you up to speed on the exciting developments that could catapult Tesla's stock to new heights. So buckle up, because this is one thrilling Tesla journey you won't want to miss. But first, show your support by liking this video and subscribing to Tesla Stock News. And hit that notification bell while you're at it. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Firstly, let's discuss the noteworthy issue of autonomous taxi platforms. This happens to be the largest AI project globally, and Tesla is undeniably at the forefront. Recently, there's been a shift in Tesla's position within the market, with the company now ranking third in terms of our holdings. We've divested approximately 20 million shares. Why, you ask? Well, it's because Tesla experienced a staggering 150% surge relative to our other investments. In such cases, we always opt to capitalize on profits. Additionally, during Elon's recent conference call, he expressed concerns about the economy aligning with our sentiments. Now, looking ahead five years, will we witness GM and Ford electric vehicles dominating the scene? Interestingly, both companies seem to be scaling back due to profitability constraints in the EV space. This presents a challenging catch-22 situation, given their shareholder base's inclination towards traditional internal combustion engines and immediate returns. Returning to the Tesla scenario, as its competitors retreat, our expectations for Tesla's market share are on the rise. Tesla remains one of the most innovative and controversial companies globally, consistently making headlines. From groundbreaking AI developments to the intriguing Cybertruck and record-breaking deliveries, Tesla's journey is nothing short of a roller coaster. Now let's delve into Tesla's current challenges. These challenges primarily revolve around production limitations, which are expected to make Tesla vehicles a rare commodity in the near term. While the company's long-term ambition is to manufacture between 200,000 to 250,000 units, the initial projection is far more modest, with approximately 50,000 units anticipated for the upcoming year. This production constraint is a pivotal concern, not just for Tesla, but also for investors who have placed their faith in the company's growth trajectory. The key question that looms is whether Tesla can successfully navigate these limitations and satisfy the mounting demand for their innovative electric vehicles, particularly those with a target price below the $30,000 mark. The sub dollar 30, 000 price point represents a significant threshold in the electric vehicle market, bringing EVs closer to mainstream affordability and accessibility. However, achieving this goal hinges on Tesla's ability to overcome production bottlenecks and streamline its manufacturing processes efficiently. Investors are closely watching to see if Tesla can meet this crucial milestone by the designated timeline. Speaking of the Cybertruck, it's an exciting and unique vehicle, reminiscent of the sci-fi era, like Buck Rogers from the 70s. However, its giga casting construction raises questions about repair costs in case of dents. Despite this, reservations for the Cybertruck have surged to an impressive 750K to a million, indicating substantial demand. In the grand scheme of things, Tesla's growth isn't on the decline, it's merely evolving. With a dominant position in the EV market and a global market share of around 24% in 2022, Tesla continues to lead the way. Its cutting edge battery technology, extensive charging network, and innovative software features set it apart from the competition. Furthermore, Tesla's diversified revenue streams, including energy generation and storage segments, are poised for substantial growth, especially as the demand for clean energy surges. In 2022, the energy segment accounted for approximately 7% of Tesla's total revenue, signaling its potential for future expansion. When considering the long-term outlook for Tesla, it becomes evident that there is a considerable scope for growth that investors should anticipate. 
Achieving a trillion dollar valuation for Tesla might not happen overnight, and those looking for such an outcome may need to exercise patience for several years. However, the exciting part is that there are ample opportunities on the horizon that could potentially propel Tesla to a trillion dollar valuation sooner than expected. One key factor that could play a pivotal role in Tesla's valuation growth is the continuous innovation and expansion of its product lineup. Tesla has been at the forefront of electric vehicle technology, and its leadership in the EV market is poised to continue. With the ongoing development of new models such as the Cybertruck and the potential for more affordable EV options, Tesla is positioning itself to capture a larger share of the market. Moreover, Tesla's foray into autonomous driving and its efforts to create a network of self-driving taxis have the potential to be game changers. If successful, these ventures could significantly increase Tesla's revenue and profitability. The autonomous taxi platform represents one of the most ambitious AI projects globally, and Tesla's involvement in this space is a testament to its commitment to pushing technological boundaries. Another aspect to consider is Tesla's global expansion. As the demand for EVs continues to grow worldwide, Tesla is well positioned to capitalize on this trend. The company has manufacturing facilities in various countries, enabling it to serve international markets more efficiently. This global reach can further boost Tesla's revenue and market share. Additionally, Tesla's energy generation and storage segments offer a unique opportunity for growth. As the world transitions towards clean energy solutions, Tesla's solar panels, solar roofs, and battery packs for homes and businesses have the potential to become increasingly popular. This diversification of revenue streams can contribute significantly to Tesla's overall valuation. Tesla has recently unveiled a revamped Cybertruck, four years after introducing its demo model. The automotive company has introduced a sleeker design, a more compact size, and a refined interior for the electric pickup truck. This new Cybertruck also boasts impressive performance with a remarkable range of up to 500 miles and an impressive towing capacity of up to 14,000 pounds. Notably, it accelerates from zero to 60 miles per hour in under three seconds. The Cybertruck has garnered over a million reservations and is set to commence production in the coming days with deliveries scheduled for early 2024 trying to deal with right now because you do have a vehicle that's going to be rare in terms of as it's produced and how many vehicles ultimately come out how many can they make look i think ultimately ideally you'll get to 200k 250k at one point but when you go into next year 50k is really what you're looking at you know ideally november 30th is when they actually start to deliver but this is it's an important ramp because investors need to be convinced as, as you guys have talked about often, that they will be able to produce and actually deliver on new vehicles, especially what could be a sub 30K vehicle by later next year, right? I mean, in terms of, if you look at the way that this is being structured and anyone that's seen it in person, it's a special vehicle. And that's why I look reservations, you know, upwards of call it 750K a million. Really? I mean, wow. even, though, even though a bunch of those could cancel, but I do believe there's demand for it. And I think that's why with Tesla as an overall story, you know, many there are saying that the demise, the best growth is in the rearview mirror. I disagree. I think this is just more of a transition to the next phase of the. Now let's dive deeper into the intriguing aspect of Tesla's novel policy concerning the Cybertruck. In a departure from the standard vehicle ownership experience, Tesla has introduced a distinctive stipulation that sets Cybertruck ownership apart. As per Tesla's recent announcement, Cybertruck owners are required to commit to refraining from selling or attempting to sell their vehicle within the initial year following its delivery date. This unique clause raises important questions about Tesla's motives and the potential implications for Cybertruck owners. While traditional vehicle ownership typically grants owners the freedom to sell their cars whenever they choose, Tesla's Cybertruck policy introduces a noteworthy exception. It signals Tesla's intent to maintain a certain level of control over the early resale of these innovative electric trucks. Furthermore, the policy outlines a significant consequence for those who do not adhere to this stipulation. In the event of a breach of this provision, or if Tesla has reasonable grounds to believe that such a breach has occurred, the company reserves the right to take legal action. Tesla may seek injunctive relief, a legal remedy that aims to prevent the transfer of the truck's title to a new owner, what makes this policy particularly eye-catching is Tesla's authority to demand liquidated damages from owners found in violation. These damages could amount to a substantial sum, reaching as high as $50,000, or the equivalent value received from the sale or transfer of the Cybertruck, whichever figure is greater. This provision introduces a considerable financial risk for Cybertruck owners who contemplate selling their vehicles within the first year. 
Tesla's new policy introduces a unique dynamic to the ownership experience of the Cybertruck, one that blends elements of ownership with certain restrictions aimed at preserving Tesla's interests. While it may raise eyebrows among potential buyers, it underscores Tesla's dedication to shaping not just the vehicles themselves, but also the terms and conditions of ownership in the electric vehicle landscape. It remains to be seen how this policy will impact Cybertruck buyers and the broader EV market, and it is sure to generate discussion and debate in the automotive community. To simplify, if Cybertruck owners find themselves in a situation where they must sell their vehicle within the first year after delivery, they need to notify Tesla in writing and provide the company with a reasonable opportunity to purchase the vehicle at its discretion. Tesla will acquire the vehicle at a price listed on their final price sheet, factoring in mileage at less than 25 cents per mile, accounting for reasonable wear and tear, and considering the cost to restore the vehicle to Tesla's used vehicle standards. It's worth noting that those who fail to comply with these requirements risk being barred from accessing Tesla vehicles in the future. Switching gears to some industry insights, ARK Invest CEO Kathy Wood has declared her belief that Tesla stands as the foremost AI player globally. With her track record in technology investing, her outlook carries weight. ARK Invest's projected revenue value for Tesla in 2027 sits at an impressive $2,000 per share, a substantial leap from the current share price of approximately $235. Although this projection might appear optimistic, it aligns with the potential of AI-driven services, particularly in the form of robo-taxi revenue and the much-anticipated Tesla bot. Speaking of the Tesla bot, if Tesla's vision of a full-fledged robo-taxi fleet and the sale of a million robots by 2030 comes to fruition, it could significantly impact Tesla's stock price, potentially exceeding $1,500 per share. Taking things even further, Tesla enthusiast Dave Lee presents a bullish valuation model. According to Lee, if Tesla achieves an $800 billion gross profit from both Tesla-owned and private robo-taxis, a $450 billion gross profit from energy storage, and a $1 trillion gross profit from selling 20 million robots, totaling a whopping $2.65 trillion in gross profit, with two-thirds of this amount translating to net profit and assuming a P.E. ratio of 50, Tesla could potentially attain a market cap of $88 trillion. With approximately 3 billion shares available in the stock market, this scenario would place Tesla's share price at an astonishing $29,000 per share, a remarkable increase from its current trading value. While these figures may seem extraordinary, they highlight the transformative potential of Tesla's AI endeavors. Though some may doubt Tesla's ability to achieve such profits per vehicle by 2030, the narrative could certainly shift as evidence accumulates. It's essential to remember that significant changes can occur in the span of a few years, making Tesla's story an ongoing and dynamic one. Hey, we've reached the end of this video today. We've delved into some intriguing developments and policies surrounding Tesla, including the unique stipulations for Cybertruck owners and the challenges the company faces in scaling up production to meet increasing demand. Tesla continues to shape the future of the automotive industry and beyond, making it a fascinating company to follow. Now, we'd love to hear from you, our viewers. What are your thoughts on Tesla's policies regarding the Cybertruck? Do you think these measures are justified or do they raise concerns for potential buyers? And how confident are you in Tesla's ability to overcome production limitations and deliver more affordable electric vehicles? Your insights and opinions matter. Please share them in the comments below. If you found this content engaging and informative, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Tesla Stock News for more updates on the latest developments in the world of Tesla. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you in the next video.